lost at sea and left for dead. He was at nature's mercy. Amazing story of South African surfer Brett Archibald. Brett Archibald, thanks God he's alive. I'm just so happy that I, I get to see my family and my kids again. You know, that's more important. And it's made me realise what's important in life. You know? and I think the world really needed a good luck story and, and that's my story. It's a, it's a very happy ending despite 28 and a half hours of absolute trauma and hell. I took my belt off and I actually was going to scratch into my skin what had happened. Um, so when they found my body, at least my family would know because I knew nobody would know. It was getting kind of dusk and then I felt this really big bump in my back. And I thought, well, this is not good. And then hit me again, and I thought, at first I thought it was a big barracuda. Um, and then the second time it hit me, I went, no, this is not good, this is a shock. And I kind of sank, to the, sank under the water, and I just started finning around, and I just saw this shark coming at me. I, I literally decided to end it all there and then. And my wife had actually read me an article just a couple of months before I left on the trip about drowning being a really nice way to die, you know, it's gentle and I tried to swallow water down my lungs and I just couldn't do it. There were all these little processes and, and events that happened along the way that, that kept me going, you know, kept my brain stimulated, kept my brain active, active and, and thinking about things around me all the time. And I really believe that that and the praise of people around the world is what got me through. Very fortunate though. Just before I did the ride, I mean the, the surf trip, I did a a 800 odd kilometre cycle race for charity that finished with the Argus here in Cape Town, and I was just really fortunate I'd done that. You know, my lungs were were big and strong, my legs were strong, and and I really believe that played a role in, in keeping me going. So I'm well, yeah, I'm very very happy to be alive, and every day is a great day in my life. I don't think I'll ever have a bad day again.